Military Matters, a 1st Cav Division Brigade bids farewell to a leader who helped see the group through a tragic time last year. Channel 6 military reporter Jillian Angeline has more from Fort Hood. Leslie, the 1st Cav Division Sustainment Brigade is fresh off returning from a nine-month deployment to Afghanistan. And today they welcomed Colonel Stephen Carroza to lead them. It's a ceremony steeped in tradition and includes the horse detachment on post. Carroza will be taking over the brigade, which supplies anything from fuel to equipment, wherever the army goes, like Southwest Asia or Europe. Carroza tells me he is looking forward to helping those soldiers adjust back to stateside life. To, to avail those soldiers, provide them those opportunities, ensure that they're getting the assistance that they need to make that transition as smooth as possible so that they can reintegrate with their families and with the community in the best way, the best way possible over the coming months. But the welcome also meant a bittersweet moment for outgoing Colonel Chris Colavita. He told the brigade and his family at the change of command he cannot imagine life without being a wagon master. Three wagon masters were killed and others injured in a November suicide bombing at Bagram Airfield in Afghanistan. And Colavita was there when it happened. He said it made the unit even stronger. This is a day that I have dreaded, longed for, and then dreaded again. Le leaving these, these soldiers. It's, uh, it was tough. It, it really got tough when I saw them walking past, when you're marching past me on the field, is where it hit me that, uh, that I'm no longer a part of this great uh, unit with such rich tradition. Colavita will be heading to the Army's Material Command at Redstone Arsenal in Alabama. Coming up at 6, it's been a busy day on Fort Hood. I spoke with the Commanding General of 1st Cav, Major General J.T. Thompson, about what he thinks it will take to win the now 16 year war in Afghanistan. On Fort Hood, Jillian Angeline, Channel 6 News. All right, thanks, Jillian.